Uh, here we are, KL Airport, on the way to uh, Thailand. Uh, it's a busy place. It's not a bad airport though, unfortunately it's getting renovated and the train's not going. So, uh, here we are, and so the next one will be in Thailand, I guess. Here we are, Bangkok Airport, Thailand. Huge place, nice people though, pretty easy to get along with. Immigration, customs, no problems. In and out pretty quick, a long way to walk, that was all. But uh, we're here. Uh, Taxi Chaos, Bangkok, 101. 20,000 people trying to get a taxi at the same time. We just booked one with no idea where it is. There's thousands of bloody taxis and grabs here. Well, it's raining. It's raining. Oh well. Right, here we are on the overbridge. And what a beautiful bit of electricity that we have here. Uh, I'm sure our designers in Timaru are capable of something nearly as good as this. Yeah. Here's the hotel. It's uh, checking in. Uh, pretty flash right in the middle of town. Get a breakfast, but it's expensive. Never mind. It's still cheaper than New Zealand. Uh, about 120 New Zealand dollars a night as far as uh, uh, hotel room view. Um, the traffic never stops here down there, it's, uh, I think it's six lanes, <laughs> you can never cross there, you have to cross at lights, they'll kill you. Um, it's not a bad city, it's not that dirty, um, we'll see, it's day one. Alright, here's the Golden Buddha, nine tons of gold, they won't let me near it. Um, what else have we got around here? Nine tons of gold. Somebody work out how much that is. It's a lot of money. <laughs> Beautiful temple. Right, this is a Golden Buddha, uh, a magnificent building, nine tons of gold in that Buddha. Uh, you've got to pay a uh, hundred baht to go in there, so I don't know the significance, but you ring the bells. It's an absolutely beautiful temple. Oh, I don't know what this is. Look like big, big cooking pots, geez, they're huge. They're over three foot tall, three foot across. Beautiful temple. Yeah, it costs uh, 100 baht each, that's about $4 New Zealand, thereabouts. Alright, we'll head off. Right, we're in the Grand Palace. This is where the king lives. A uh, pretty impressive place. It cost uh, for two of us a thousand baht, that's about uh, uh, 44 New Zealand dollars. But it's a huge compound, it's a reclining Buddha in here, it's all sorts of uh, good stuff, I enjoy this, so uh, we'll keep on going, if I get something more interesting, I'll post it. Another, another bit of the Grand Palace. Uh, we weren't allowed to take any photos in there. I don't know why they jumped all over me. Never mind. It's still a pretty impressive structure. Uh, Got to take your shoes off before you can go in there. Uh, I'm actually getting a bit bored with this now. I want to go to the pub. All right, that's it. You see a lot of people here wearing funny pants. It's because you're not allowed to wear shorts and they've got to buy a pair of uh, funny pants. 
that's the way it is. Don't know how much they cost. I've got jeans on, I'm fine. Sleeping Buddha, this thing is huge. The head would be three men high at least. This, this absolutely huge statue it goes all the way down there. And I'm not going to take a movie that long. Right, here's the Sleeping Buddha. Get the full length of it. It's absolutely huge, this thing. Keeps on going all the way down to his feet down there. I don't know. Probably 80 yards long. Traffic's pretty mild today, we're going over some big bridge. Um, actually it's a huge bridge, probably the size of Sydney Harbour Bridge. And well, um, traffic's easy Sunday, look at that, there's hardly anybody on the road. Right, another peasant's night out with this Terrible food that you get in Asia. Um, oh, this would probably come to about 30 New Zealand dollars. It's not bad, is it? Uh, those fried noodles are good. That's Australian steak that's cut up with some veggies. Some chicken there. I don't know what that is. Cindy or something there. Well, that's it. Flash engine on that boat. Oh, it's floating, Michael. Hello. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, another one off the bucket list, floating markets. You can stop to have a beer, something to eat, buy clothes, buy fruit, or just enjoy the ambience. But a lot of these places are selling exactly the same stuff. You've got to negotiate a price, otherwise you'll pay through the nose. All right, that's it. It's getting a little bit crowded in here. <laughs> this V8 engine doesn't like just idling him, it likes to do it stick. Everybody trying to get us to stop to buy stuff. It's a wonderful experience. Here we go, we're going to, now turning these things is interesting. They have to take the propeller out. Here we go, a lot more shops. We're shopping in the boat. <laughs> Yeah, we've got some crocodile skin. You didn't overtake him, boy. This is one packet you can drink about two months, not one time, lady. This is, I mean, he tried for the red one and salai salai make for the sun. But we buy two packets, three packets, I make cheaper. I see you said try every day. This. Yeah, this is the way to shop, isn't it? For the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> this boat has got a kick ass V8 pushing it. That means they got food. And the pendant, good for art. Yeah, it's a bit different. They cook on, they cook on their boats. Here they've got a cooker. Uh, this one's coconut ice cream. There was one with a fire on it. The charcoal burner was selling chicken. Um, it's, it's getting very congested here. Mango and sticky rice. I don't like the sticky rice much. A lot of people do. I don't, I don't go for it. We got the roast pork. They're cooking over there. Oh, I could take a movie. They last forever for this. The big, the big snakes there. No, there's a for Big snakes. Big snakes. Big snakes.
I don't know what that little animal is. It's the coconut ice cream cooking. Cooking everywhere. Oh, I don't know what this says. Sarawak Lotting Market. Oh, it meant to be floating market. The F is gone. See, the F is gone. <laughs> the people live here. There's some nice houses in there, some crappy ones, but uh, they all eke out a living, they all get along and know each other. Patriotic these people. Wow, I'm impressed. Somebody's mansion. The biggest house I've seen here. some sort of corporate playground, I don't know, big, maybe it's a hotel, you think it's a hotel, huh? a hotel, is that a hotel, I don't know, oh, maybe, could be a hotel, we're not sure, is that a hotel, big fella, yeah, wake up, good boy, but, look me, yeah, good boy, he's so sleepy, Goodbye, so yeah. He's got these spots behind his ears. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> he's so sleepy. He's tired yeah. Time. Because it's resting time now. Hey. Kasam? Wake up, baby. Wake up. Kasam, oh. wake up. Oh, don't make him angry. Yeah. Don't make him angry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kasam, come, good boy. Good boy, yeah, good boy. Good fella. Good fella. All right. All right. Yeah, you better get out from there. <laughs> Two together. Well, boys, how would you like to be a meter reader here? I guess you've got to stand up on a boat and do it. Here we go. <laughs> How would you like to be a lineman here? Man, oh man. <laughs> oh well. Yeah. Very small coconut farm here. We're about to go and play with tigers. The electricity system here amazes me. Right, here's another night out. I don't know if you've got it. Obviously, bacon. And we've got a cockatoo in here with the mushrooms. We've got some shrimps coming over there. I don't think we've got enough food here. Here we go. I don't know what that is. That's bacon. That's beef. That's chicken. That's a meatball. That's chili. Mushrooms are in there. As soon as he's taken care of that. Oh, here we go. No chance of getting through all this food, that's for sure. Right, we've got eels and all sorts of other stuff in this market. Vegetables, it's a train market, it's on the side of a railway track that's in use. Bangkok traffic, pretty good. Hey. <laughs> Pretty good. Plenty of motorbikes and tuk tuks. The other side of the road is pretty good, Lee. The other side is pretty good. <laughs> 